Ikshana Sanskrit, Iksana, is a noun which means sight, care and superintendence but also refers to eye, sight, look, seeing, viewing, aspect, caring for, looking after, regarding. In the Mahabharata, Brahma is said to have become the Ikshana eye, in the form of this mobile and immobile universe, of all entities that took birth. In the phrase Vrishbekshana, Virishba implies the Vedas and Ikshana, the eye. Kalidasa, in the phrase Madarigzan appearing in passage 2.72 of his Abhiganashakuntalam, has also used the word Ikshana to mean the eye, which phrase Sankara explains as, Madira wine, as applied to the eye Ikshana, eye is equivalent to beautiful, Madirakshane means the one whose eyes intoxicate like wine or is the wine-eyed. Ikshana is a technical term used in Vedanta to show how creation took place by the beholding of para-Brahman as an intelligent and a personal act of the creator, it means revelation of the created. Parabrahman is essentially Sita who produces his self as Shabda Brahman logos by Ikshana beholding. Badarayana states, Iksati Karmavyapadisat sa Brahma Sutra I. I. E. From the mention as the object of the act of seeing, it follows that the Supreme Self is meant. Adi Shankara, in his commentary on this sutra, states that the object of Ikshana seeing is the Supreme Self, Brahman, and not Haranyagarbha, the inferior Brahman. He says that the term Ikshati karma means the object covered by the act of seeing. The all-pervading entity Purusha that is to be seen can be seen to be higher than the high one. Meditated. Pipalata tells Satyakama, son of Sibi, that he by the Sama hymns is elevated to the Brahmaloka, he from this Javangata the macrocosmic soul beholds the supreme being Itasmajavanat parat param purusayam purusumaksati prashna upanishad v.5, the statement, uho nama v tarkokati pra vicharekshanatmaka, the terms vitarka and tarka are used interchangeably, tarka occurs after speech, mind and prana have been restrained immediately before samadhi, vitarka consists of advanced thought and observation Aikshana, it is through discernment UHA, that one leaves the lower plane of Savakalpa and gets uplifted. The Vedic concept of tapas and the Upanishadic concept of Aikshana to the effect that consciousness and force are ultimately the same and every will has an aspect of force, helped Sri Aurobindo to conclude that the fact is only a partial reflection of the idea which has created it and that it is the idea which expresses itself in matter and takes to itself bodies, and formulate the theory of ideas as fossas. It was through Ekasetakshana Samyukta Prajna the supreme perfect knowledge was realized by Gautama Buddha, that converted Bodhisattva to Buddha. Ekasetakshana refers to prajna exercised in unison with one thought viewing when there is no separation between knower and the known, all are viewed in one thought and enlightenment is the outcome. 